Hey everybody, guess what? We are live this afternoon. I have Missy with me from the John P. Holt Library in Brentwood. I'm so excited that it will be opening again soon, which is the big question everybody wants to know. When are things going to reopen? So tell us, we'll give us the official date. So the library is going to reopen to patrons next Tuesday, May 26th at 9 a.m. And so already you're allowing people to do curbside pickup of books. Tell us how that works. So, so beginning last week, um, patrons could place holds and staff pull them, got them ready. The patrons could come by and pick them up, um, come up to the front, and staff could go get their books, check them out, see them, and bring them back to them. So this is great because we have not had that available and since March 17th. And I know a lot of people have been kind of going through withdrawal. So this, um, I think everybody was really excited about it. Yeah. Tell me what the library is going to look like when you guys reopen. Walk us through that. So for the social distancing and to help people with that, um, we have uh, placed tables in front of the service desks. So, um, to help people understand not to get too close. And we have six feet um, lengths marked off. And I think there's some floor signage that will be here eventually. And then we have various signs around just to remind people that um, it's good not to get too close. Right. We've taken out, we've taken out some of the seating and um, uh, and some of the computers are not going to be able to be used because they're too close. We've taken the children's play area furniture out and the children's game computers are not going to be available temporarily. Um, there's no, just, Thomas, no Thomas the Tank Engine right now, no trains. <laughs> correct. For right now, Thomas is on a break. Yeah. Um, Tell me what it's going to look like for children's programming this summer. So normally this is when we're getting really busy and putting out our, putting out our schedule and getting ready to have summer reading sign up. And um, we have performers booked and classes scheduled, but we're not going to be able to do that this year. And so instead we're going to do the best we can. We've got all our performers who are going to send us a link and we'll be able to put those out for people to watch. We are working on some virtual story time so that even though you can't come in and see Miss Pat here, you can see Miss Pat do a story time um, virtually. Um, and sign up is our registration is already going on for the summer reading program. So children, teens, and adults can sign up. And then the actual summer reading program starts May 22nd. May 22nd. Uh, Miss Pat's been doing that story time for a very long time. How long has she been doing that? She has been here a little over 30 years. And she has developed a great following. She's just a, a treasure to have here. Yeah, that is that is one of the fav my favorite things. My kids have all enjoyed that, all three of them, uh, story time with Miss Pat. I was just thinking about that. She's been there a very long time. And she always has great little activities after this story. Did we lose Miss Pat? And we had crafts. So here I am. Oh, there you are. Uh, we, I think we got a little hijacked there for a second. Well, um, tell me what else is happening at the library. What's it been like the last three weeks with nobody there or more than three weeks, a few weeks with no one there? Well, so once we were closed to the public, um, we thought this was a perfect way to um, um, get things uh, done that we can't do when patrons are here. So we've had all the carpets clean, we've had the windows clean, we've had the floors polished and waxed. Um, and we've got the reading room, you'll see here, the reading room is all set up and ready for returns. Now we haven't been taking returns yet because once things have come in, they have to be quarantined. 
just like us. They have to be quarantined. And so they're going to be in quarantine for three days after they've returned. So 72 hours. I think that's right. Um, so once things start coming back, these, um, these have started coming back. And so they will sit here until Friday when they are safe to go back on the shelf. And so what else is a part of that quarantine? Do you guys clean the books before you put them back out? There is some cleaning, but, uh, and, and they are not checked in yet because if they were checked in, then the holds will become available and it would get all confusing. So what we're doing is they're, they're here until Friday, then these will be checked in and they'll be ready to go back out. Gotcha. Well, I noticed those floors. They look super shiny as you're walking me around there. I don't know if I've seen the floors that shiny. <laughs> <laughs> they are, well, you know, they won't remain that shiny forever, but uh -huh. right now they're, so, um, I'm trying to think what else. So they've all, we, so since the last, the last two weeks, we've been getting ready for the, the holds pick up, pulling all the holds, you know, making sure all of them have a hold slip, sorting them by the patron and getting them ready to go out. So that was what the last two weeks have been, you know, really busy with. And, um, you know, other staff have been um, processing books. We had books still arriving while we were closed. So we had a lot of the new bestsellers coming in. Um, so those have all gone out. Um, we've had um, uh, getting ready for summer reading, getting ready for, you know, the kids to come back and see the library for the first time in a long time. And um, a lot of, a lot of programming uh, planning has been taking place. Yeah. Well, it looks great. Tell me what it's going to look like when someone uh, comes back, when it reopens on Tuesday, what are the requirements when they come back to visit the library? So we'll have, we again, have the social distancing signage. Um, we hope that people will, not try and, um, you know, uh, I, I, I have no idea exactly how many people will try and come in the first day. Usually that is the busiest day that we have all year. The day after Memorial Day. Hopefully we can get Missy back. I love the children's library. You guys got to see it. We're looking at the children's library. The city of Brentwood Library will be reopening. Okay, after Memorial I think we're trying to reconnect here. We'll give them a second to see if they can reconnect and we will give you a little bit more information. If you guys have not been to that library, you need to go check it out. Um, City of Burnwood Library. It's called, now called John P. Holt. Oh, there we go. So before this was just a blank wall with a shelf in front of it, but um, uh, Jeff Pender, who is in the Leadership Brentwood class, got his group together and they have made us a whole little diorama of the firefighting. They've redone the fire bookcase, new seating, new flooring. They've repainted it. So it's all fresh and clean as well. So cute. Uh, didn't the Children's Library receive an award for one of the best children's library in the area? Well, I mean, we have had we have had various awards um, or been on a variety of best lists, I guess you might say. Well, it's a special place. I love all those windows. Yeah, and then this year, actually, I was presented with an award. Um, our our annual Tennessee Library Association conference was canceled, 
but this year I had received the Francis Neal Cheney Award, which I believe um, is awarded to someone who um, helps um, show the love of reading to to everyone. So I guess that's that's my special thing this year. Well, congratulations! I well deserve. That is a great place to come and visit, hang out. I don't know if we're allowing hanging out right now, but it's a beautiful place to come visit with social distancing. <laughs> All right, you guys still with me? We are. Okay. Well, thanks again for showing us around the library. We will let everybody know you guys are going to reopen on Tuesday, May 26th. And we will check back with you guys soon. Thanks so much for showing us around today. Missed everybody. I know, I know. I think everybody's missed you guys too. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, thank you. Bye.